Hi, I'm Donald Connolly and I'm the project manager for DART Plus Fleet. We're out dynamic testing with the new fleet about three weeks now. We've been doing various brake tests, traction tests, and obviously we're looking at the battery as one of the new features on the train and how that's performing initially on the first test. So after we got delivery here, we started our static testing where we're just in the shed here, testing what we can do without moving the train. We progressed on then to low speed testing around the inchy core work. So we have a small test track there. We can do load speed tests, brake, traction, make sure the train is moving, brakes are applying when they need to. Um, and as you can see, we check the horn as well when we can. And then we moved on to dynamic testing. So this was a big milestone for the project. Um, we had to go through our safety approvals process. We're out at night in testing when there's no other trains around. Um, and we're just slowly moving through our testing there, um, braking and traction mainly. Obviously, we start off at lower speeds, make sure everything is working. And then last week we got up to full speed. So we were testing at 145 kilometers an hour on the test track there between uh, Inchicore here and Hazel Hatch. Obviously we want to get up to max speed, but we can't do that straight away. We've got to prove the braking and traction is working well. So we started off first doing low speed testing, bedding the brakes in. Brakes are all brand new. So we've got to bed in the brake discs, the pads, make sure that's all working. And then slowly but surely over the three weeks, we went up as we got more confidence in the braking system operating as it's supposed to be. And then last week that culminated with a full acceleration from zero up to 145 and then emergency brake all the way back down to zero. One of the interesting things I suppose about that was we wanted to see how the battery would perform in real life. We'd modeled it quite a lot uh, and the good news is it was all very good. One of the things we monitor on the battery is first of all how much power does it take us to get up to that speed and then the temperature of the battery. So is it getting hotter or colder based on the, the work it's doing? And it came out very well, it matched our modeling and the temperature was pretty consistent on the brake as well as the traction. Um, and from our modeling, it looks like the battery consumption to get to these speeds is in line with what we expected. We have a group of drivers that are specifically assigned to the project for the purposes of testing. We're going to be doing a lot of testing over the next year and a half. So we have a fixed group that have gone, gone through their training, been brought up to speed on the new features of the train. So far, the feedback is pretty good. Uh, they seem to quite like it. They're happy with the acceleration, with the braking. And of course, they're happy with the driver's seat, which is always a tricky one to get right. We're doing traction braking testing now. This will move on. That goes on for quite a long time. We've got to do that traction braking testing in BMU mode. And then as we go further on into the summertime, we'll have to go over to Fairview so we can operate under the uh, OHLE. And we'll do some of that traction braking again to make sure that it operates the same in braking as well as traction in EMU mode, as well as battery mode. So that's one of the things we'll do next. We'll also, the other train behind me there is train set two. So that's in its static testing at the moment. It hasn't gone out on track yet. That will go out and track and do the initial traction and braking in a much shorter period because we've already done testing on train set one. And then we'll start testing the suspension on train set two and show that the dynamic validation is correct. Um, that'll happen in the summer as well. So then eventually we'll go up to draw that at the end of the year uh, in the autumn. And we look at what we can do in terms of the battery charger there. So we'll bring the train up and we'll test the train functions. So we have automatic uh, pantograph operation. Um, at the charging station, so we'll make sure that works. We'll make sure that the batteries are charged um, with the higher current. Um, and then we'll also do the testing from the battery charger side. So the battery charger is obviously new as well. They'll have their testing to do, the validation and approvals for that. And that will all happen towards the end of this year. Although the train looks completely finished on the outside, on the inside, we've actually removed most of the seats. We've moved some of the paneling um, and we fitted out one of the cars with desks and computers and basically workstations for the engineers that are out on test. That gives them all feedback and data on that the train is performing as designed.